Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a lock screen bypassing USB credential hack. Well, first of all, this story needs a little background. If you've been following my write-ups on Mr. Robot, a USA Network show that I absolutely love, you know that recently they've had some USB-related hacks on this show using a well-known tool called the Rubber Ducky. Now, the Rubber Ducky is a device that looks like any sort of USB storage device, but really it actually emulates a human interface device or a keyboard. And the beauty of doing this is you can create a USB key that acts like a keyboard as far as the computer computer knows, and then you can actually script that USB key to do all sorts of keyboard commands. And the Rubber Ducky is a commercialized version of this product. And really, once you have a fake automated keyboard plugged into someone's computer, really you can do anything on that computer that that user could do. You can plug the stick in and get a remote shell on the computer in a few seconds, or you can plug the stick in and use all kinds of credential hacking tricks to gain the credentials of the users on that computer. And one of those tricks is something called Mimi Cats, which is a way that you can actually steal clear text credentials from Windows memory. In any case, this tool recently showed up in a hack on Mr. Robot, and they used it relatively accurately. However, in my Mr. Robot Rewind article on GeekWire, I actually talked about how we didn't see whether or not the computer they used it on was locked or not. And the reason that's important is because this USB key really just emulates a keyboard. If you actually lock your computer screen, meaning you're logged on to the computer, but you need to enter your username and password, it actually prevents the rubber duckies uh, password stealing scripts from working because it has to first get past that lock screen. So even though lots of people have known about this USB device that can actually steal credentials, one of its biggest weaknesses is it would never work on a Windows computer that had a lock screen. So all that background gets us to today's story, and that's a security researcher whose alias is Mubix has found a new way to create a USB device that not only can steal credentials when you plug it in, but it can get past the Windows lock screen even on a Windows 10 computer. And this just came out September 6th. It's kind of interesting interesting how it just came out a little bit after that particular Mr. Robot episode. So here's how this new hack works. Really the premise behind all these USB device hacks are these USB devices which are really computers. And as a USB device you can actually tell the computer that you're anything you want to be. There's special codes that you use when you want to say you're a storage device versus a Ethernet card versus a keyboard versus some other peripheral. And really the rubber duckies trick is it looks like a storage device but it tells the computer it's a keyboard. So this new USB hack does the same thing, but in this case the device emulates a Ethernet card or a networking card. And the reason it does this is because one of the few devices that can actually load and work even at a Windows lock screen is a networking card. Now once the device is plugged in and it says it's a networking card, it actually becomes the main networking device that your computer uses. And because of that, the device can use all kinds of tricks to make sure that all the traffic you route actually go through that USB device first. And there's actually well-known hacking tools, specifically a tool called Responder, that once traffic is going to it, it can actually emulate all kinds of servers and it can gather credentials, whether they be password hashes sent over a Windows network, whether they be FTP credentials or whatever. So basically, Mubix put these three things together. He made a device that emulated an Ethernet card, which gets past the Windows lock screen. As long as your network has DHCP, that Ethernet card can get some settings, and then he uses Responder to basically grab any credentials it can, basically forcing that computer to send its network traffic through this particular Responder server. So long story short, his device, when you plug it in, even to a Windows computer that has a lock screen, can grab your Windows credentials within about 13 seconds. Now there is one caveat here. In the Mr. Robot hack, the rubber ducky was set up to use a credential stealing tool called Mimikatz. And this is specifically a special technique that can pull a clear text password from memory. And that's a great benefit because a hacker doesn't have to figure out what the password is cracking a hash offline. He has the password right there. Now the side effect of using Responder, uh, which is a network hacking tool, is you really only get the hashed Windows 
credentials. Now that's not the end of the world. There's lots of password cracking tools. So if your victim has a short password, say eight to 10 characters, you can probably crack that hash. Furthermore, there's a lot of Windows networking tricks where you actually don't need the password. You can leverage a trick called pass the hash to actually use that hash to authenticate to other computers on the network. By the way, the one thing I didn't mention is what USB device Mubix had to use for this attack. He didn't use the Hack5 rubber ducky. Rather, he started by using a tool called the USB Armory, and he later found that Hack5's Turtle, a USB device, also worked as well. Anyways, this is just an interesting new USB hack. Again, the main takeaway here is having a USB key that could do bad things, like the rubber ducky, is something that's been known for a long time, and Mr. Robot actually highlighted that quite well. But the one caveat to that particular attack was it would not work if you have a locked screen. So one important security tip was always to have a locked screen. However, in this particular case, Mubix has actually found a new way that can actually bypass the hack screen. So it's actually an elevation of this particular problem. Now, the good news is there are some solutions out there. If you're worried about people using malicious USB devices, there are a number of tools out there that will allow you some control over your USB ports. So the only real way to protect yourself from this class of USB device is to use software or tricks out there to disable at least temporarily your USB ports and only enable them when you want to use them. Now there's plenty of free software that you can use to do this. There's even registry tricks you can use if you're a power user. However, as you're looking at tools that help you control your USB ports, be very careful which ones you select. You want tools that will totally disable USB ports when you want them disabled. Some of the tools only actually disable the USB port from having storage devices. And the reason they focus on storage devices is to make sure that you can't get malware on your system. The problem is things like the rubber ducky and the USB armory and the, the Hack5 turtle is that these devices are actually emulating keyboards and emulating ethernet cards. So uh, things that only prevent storage devices will not prevent these from working. So it's very important to look at USB security software that can totally disable the port if that's what you want to do. Anyways, it's an interesting new evolution to USB hacks. Hope you found it interesting. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.